Hey guys, so a lot of you really wanted to know where the weapon I used in the raid comes from, the Fabian Strategy. So let's go over how to get it in addition to the Ace of Spades and the Tlaloc. In order to get your class specific exotic weapon, you will need to level your gunsmith. We've gone over how to level your gunsmith in another video linked in the description, but the quests you have to do for him are very simple. First, you must complete your rank 2 quest before you can do your rank 3. Your rank 2 quest will be for a special weapon, a shotgun if you're a titan, a sniper if you're a hunter, and a fusion rifle if you're a warlock. In order to complete your rank 2 quest, first you'll need rank 2, but then you'll need to go kill with the weapon specified with a corresponding telemetry active. So for rank 2, it'll be a special weapon telemetry. You can get these kills literally anywhere versus any enemies in the game, it doesn't matter. When you're done with that step, you'll need to come back to the gunsmith and then he'll ask you to dismantle weapons of that type and you need 10 components. Rares are worth 1, but legendaries are worth 5. Here's the thing though. Year 1 weapons count, so if you have any Year 1 legendary weapons in your vault that you don't need anymore, and they match the weapon that you need to dismantle, dismantle it and you'll only need to dismantle two of them assuming that they're legendary weapons. After you're done with that step, you are done. That's it. That's the whole thing. The rank 3 version of the quest, aka the exotic weapons, are literally the exact same as the rank 2 quest, except it's just with a specific primary weapon instead of a special, auto rifles for titans, hand cannons for hunters, and scout rifles for warlocks. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Congrats on your new 280 weapon. The Fabian strategy served me very well in the raid recently. It's definitely a workhorse weapon. It's not going to be fancy or do anything cool. It's just going to kill things. Crowd control is an awesome bonus. Life support actually saved me quite a few times during the raid. And front lines is active a lot. I highly recommend trying out the weapon, although I feel like scout rifles still might be a little more efficient. As for the other two weapons, I don't have them yet, but my friends do, and they all agree that the others are very good. Ace of Spades is a very good weapon, it has Firefly, but I've gotten a couple of complaints about it running out of ammo kind of quickly, so having any sort of hand cannon ammo bonuses is really going to be beneficial. The reason it runs out so quickly is because of the Maverick bonus, where anytime you get a precision kill, a shot is moved from your reserve to your magazine, so you can just end up shooting a lot. However, it still comes absolutely recommended as a pseudo Fatebringer type of weapon. Tlaloc, or Talok, is basically a Vision of Confluence scout rifle, but my friend Merrick used it for the entirety of the raid and loved it. He's not the kind of person to use his super very often, so when his super is ready, the Talok turns into a better version of Vision of Confluence. High rate of fire and good stability to balance it out as well. If you're the kind of person to hang onto your super as opposed to spamming it, it's really gonna pay dividends when using this weapon. All of the class exotic weapons are pretty much workhorse weapons, and are all generally very good considering how easy they are to get. They're not going to do anything fancy or cool, like I said, they're just going to kill things really well, and that's all I know I want in a weapon. Anyway guys, that is how you get your class specific exotic weapon. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.